Hi guys, it's Lolita, and here is my diary entries in May 2009 as a 14-year-old girl. Monday, 11th of May, 2009. Dear diary, well, I got so many things to say. First, I can't help but think that three years or so from now, and I'm not in the national team, I'm just an ordinary player. Do I really want to look back and remember having a clear shot of being an international, worldwide taekwondo player, clear at my horizon that I simply turned my back on, just because I was going through a phase of, I hate taekwondo like hell right now? Probably the whole problem actually is that I hate my lack of social skills, and that my parents aren't supportive of the idea of me preparing for the Olympics. Second, I see my school copy books uncompleted, worksheets in the books unsolved, and think to myself, they were worth solving. My teachers were worth the effort of looking at the books and studying. But time is running out. Soon enough, I will be a freshman senior, first year of IGCSE. A chance worth taking is an effort worth making. Capturing the right chance is, it, is changing your future. Still, what are the right chances from the un unnecessary ones? I have to turn to Allah, who I am sad to report that I've been abandoning his prayers for no good reason. I missed so far about five trainings. The fifth one is going on right now. I just wish I would go. I just wish I were a good organizer of my time then I would be able to juggle studying and training. I feel guilty about this. Tuesday, 19th of May, 2009. Dear Diary, I am so messed up right now. I hate myself. I really do. I want to take a knife and start cutting myself up. Watching myself as I bleed. Yes, that's how bad I feel. This is terrible beyond words can express. I hate that I hate myself. I hate this whole issue. Oh great, now I'm crying. I feel guilty about everything I do and don't do this de these days. I'm sometimes rude to my mother. I don't pray very much. I stop tidying my room. I don't study in such a critical time. Final exams time. How ironic. I'm doing terrible in taekwondo trainings. I keep having like this... Mental disturbance, I don't know what else to call it, where I escape reality to live in an imaginary life, which is a terrible life itself, worse than my current one. Then I start crying over it as if it re were really true. So basically, I'm always upset. You see, I'm living a horrible life. This whole thing, it comes and goes. My life, my real life is much better without it. It went away for a while, but then it came back again this week. I think it might really be a mental illness or something. The whole illness thing just mainly summarizes in this. I escape reality for no apparent reason and live in a fictional, sad life and actually start having conversations with the characters in these lives. The story changes every now and then. But without a sound, I move my lips and make expressions as if they're really there. I even imagine how they look like. The stories might start out fine, but something has to twist and ha has to twist them, changing them into bad ones. And that happens all the time. I can't concentrate in anything because my mind quickly leaves me and starts displaying the story in front of my eyes. So I give in and live it and get touched by it. This comes and goes, really. I wish it would go without return. Then again, how do I know if I'm not exaggerating this issue here? I always try to victimize myself with an attempt to excuse myself in doing things I often regret, like not studying. If I tell my mom about this, she'll just say that I have too much free time and very little to think about, that's why Satan plays with my mind, and that I have to get more religious and simply resist these thoughts when they come to me. I don't know if she's right or wrong, or if I just like drama. 
and most probably if I tell my father, who is not around much, about this, he'll tell me to control my thoughts and stop thinking that way. After all what I've written, I see that I truly have a problem of self-esteem. That's the least to say. Tuesday, 26th of May, 2008. 2009, sorry. Tuesday, 26th of May, 2009. Dear Diary, A talk about perspective, priorities and principles is of major importance right now. Is of major importance right now. I just came back from the science final exam of third preparatory, which I had cheated and gave answers to almost everybody. Not really, I'm exaggerating. I trembled when my colleagues started to ask for answers. During the first term finals, I didn't give any answers, but I cheated a little. And in that time, I felt this passion inside me, something deep and powerful, something like pride. I just wanted to scream out, I am an educated girl. But I was too sane not to, unlike a lot of Egyptian girls. I'm so grateful that I go to school. My perspective then about cheating is that it makes the unequal equal, which is absolutely wrong. If the world was to go by that way, then why are there girls and boys, not just one gender? It's because they aren't equal. They have differences. They should be treated equally, yet they aren't the same. Why is there the words bad and good in the vocabulary of all languages? Because there's a difference and it should be respected. The unequal should never be equal. Cheating answers in exams is that wrong. Now, why do I cheat and give answers in all the exams again? I sort of forgot my principle, perhaps. And I can't believe I'm turning 15 already. I regret every moment of my life that went to waste. And they are many. Friday, 29th of May, 2009. Dear Diary, it's my first day in my summer vacation. There's something wrong I feel inside, like guilt or regret or hate. One whole year has flown before my very eyes and it's one whole year out of my life. I don't know what to think of it. I don't know. All I know is that I'm overwhelmed with amazement and surprise. It's summer again. I won't see my teachers nor my friends anymore. I'm moving on to a new school. Intelligence is coping and adapting to change. It's the ability to shift swiftly and easily. As the days pass by, I will see how intelligent I am. I long to prove my strength. I wish I were a genius or a hero. If only I could prove that I am one be religious and respectable that would be all i could have all i could ask for but the respect thing i already have except people who don't know me do they know i am respectable <laughs>